house like biscuits and gravy besides me. Do they like their own plate? I don't know. I've got your gravy all cooled down. But the biscuits are hot. You gotta let them cool. Somebody's gonna get biscuits and gravy. Who could I give this to? Biscuits and gravy. Who? Who would want this? Sure is puppy dog size. That's her favorite breakfast. Mine ain't too bad either. Good morning, welcome to my channel. My name is Mike, and this week we're celebrating the sixth year that I've had Miss Rooster. So that's what y'all just saw. I made her her favorite breakfast biscuits and gravy. Yep, she's from Georgia, man. She likes her biscuits and gravy. Uh, so, yeah, six years ago this week, I think it was the fourth, I can't remember, man. I don't even remember what yesterday was. Uh, I was running the dog shelter and once in a while we would get dogs in from other states and then we would send all these dogs up north because they have terrible spay and neuter laws in the south and overabundance of animals and that's why you see them running loose unspayed unneutered it's terrible uh, but anyway we took her in because some of the other shelters would give you donations for your shelter if you could take some of the dogs off their hands so I walked in one day and there's Rooster and <laughs> she didn't fit in she did not belong in a shelter I don't know why anybody gave her up and I had been looking for a little dog uh, I actually brought one home just a few days before that and I was almost getting ready to decide if I was going to take that one or not and then Rooster came in I brought her home and she was a crazy little thing she was but something about her I liked and so for the next four or five days she'd come home with me and then every day she'd go back to the shelter you know I gave her office duties she wouldn't have to go into the kennel but she stayed in the office with me and uh, probably about the fourth day I went out to take her out I went to put the leash on but I opened the door a little too soon and she bolted she ran all over town I was going nuts trying to find her and finally I tracked her down and caught her and so she gets off the leash she goes nuts 
so whenever I walk her here she's always on a leash uh, now she's got her own yard so she can do you know she likes that now she don't want to go out of the house used to be you couldn't keep get her in now she don't want to you know but I know she don't like the heat she's shedding something awful right now oh man I'm sweeping every two hours I need to take her out and brush her and maybe give her a bath but, but anyway this is uh yeah I got her in 2016 so we're going on six well it is six years now and they said she was a year and a half old when I got her and I don't think she was that old I'm not really sure but you can see in her pictures I didn't I don't think I put any on this video but when she was when I first got her actually when I'm wearing the mop over my head in the one picture yeah, she just looked younger, and but boy, she was a wild little hellion when I brought her home. Yep, yeah, but it, after a while, I mean, that's with any dog. When you first get a dog, they're going to test you, and they're not used to their routine. They don't have a routine yet. You got to get them a routine, and once she got settled in and, you know, all the other dogs accepted her, she was fine. Uh, she's still peeing in a butt, <laughs> but... I just want a little dog to stay in the I mean, it's a very small cabin. I couldn't possibly have all the other ones in here. Uh, they've never been in sight. When I had the fifth wheel, I'd let them in at night sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, they don't want to stay in anyway. They're not used to that. So what I built for Waldo and Lily, that's perfect. You know, they can go in and cool down. It feels like they have their own place, but then they can go out whenever they want. So that's what I wanted from them and they're getting older and that heat there's no way they can handle this heat anymore so if there's something i can do for libby but she, you know that area over there there's a lot of trees it's very shady you walk in there to her kennel it's cool it's very cool and libby's not a dog you want to bring in the house she tears everything up i hung a tarp up on her kennel and it's i don't know how she's done it but she's chewed the hell out she ruined it you know she's just I got her from a shelter in Oklahoma she was pretty much on death row they were getting ready to put her down and so I went and got her and oh, it's been, she's a she's a hard case but she's got a, a home for life so anyway the reason this video is up and not a build video is because I got up about three this morning to go to the bathroom and I stubbed my big toe on that wall over there don't know how I didn't bother to turn a light on and man it hurts it hurts something terrible and it's not broke or anything it just hurts it's hard to put I can't even get a shoe on and uh, so I'm gonna be in here for the day at least I'm gonna put some ice on it see if that'll help but it's gonna be very hot today anyway almost 100 105 heat index uh, humidity is like 55 percent so we got the whole week of that but it does look like it's the temperatures are going down into the low 90s and there's even one day i think next wednesday 89 <laughs> i can work in 89 so i didn't get to town i need to get uh, electrical boxes and people got confused on yesterday's video i am not using 12 2 on a 30 amp breaker i know better than that i've wired this whole house haven't had any issues uh, i do do my homework i'm not a licensed electrician but i i've, I've pretty much learned it well i've got uh 10 gauge south wire for that and i've got plenty of that left in the shed from when i wire i bought a 250 foot roll i still got a lot left so i'll be using that uh even if i didn't i'd probably get away with it in there because i'm only running that air conditioner and it's only a 5,000 BTU. It doesn't put out a lot. But I'm not doing that. I'm running, t t you know, 10-2 wire, south wire. This is wire you can have outside. And it's good stuff. And that's what I wired the air conditioner here with. Uh, just about everything in this house is with 10-2. Because I had 250 feet of it. You know, that goes a long way. So, getting that wired the problem i'm coming into is that little area between the dog apartment and the cabin there's a space if y'all remember back in the video and i've got to fill in that space i'm gonna have to run plumbing through there into the dog apartment 
and I'm gonna have to run some electrical through there and that needs to be enclosed it's already got the metal roof over it so it's not gonna get wet but I do need to enclose it and insulate it because uh, if I'm running water lines through there we don't want them getting frozen you know PEX will not burst but it will freeze trust me I know because it happened here uh, that we had one year it was year four last it was like minus 10 it never gets that cold here but it did that year I think a lot of people had trouble that year so I won't be getting out there today uh, I don't know how tomorrow's looking I, I need supplies I don't have two by fours to finish some things I don't have the proper electrical boxes I only need one for here in the uh, screen porch there, there's just not a need for a lot of electrical in there um, lights a lot of those that I'm running are going to be uh, well I just need one light in there right because when I'm out there at night I'm going to have my lanterns on you know maybe some LED uh, lights that don't run much power I don't know man so anyway uh, just a different kind of video it's not a coffee those don't get I lose subscribers on them coffees I'm not doing them no more we used to do them all the time so you can call it what you want I'm on here yapping but I just thought I'd put up a little something about rooster she had her biscuits and gravy this morning I don't make it that often but she always got to get a plate I just crumble up some biscuits and I get some gravy out and let it cool and she won't dig in if it's hot she'll wait till it cools she's not stupid I'll dig in if it's hot burn my gizzard I don't care so we're hoping to get back out there man I just need a break in this weather I just I can't do it in this heat man it's just terrible but it's getting better we're getting a little bit more done uh, that helped just you know I went out there gimped out there this morning and I was gonna put that ceiling fan up but I couldn't I couldn't climb on a ladder and I only have to climb up like one step but I couldn't get on there and man, my toe is killing me hopefully my toenail don't fall off yeah, that's uh, that's about where I hit it right on the end there it hurt and I was awake for a while after that it was hard to go back to sleep uh, I keep bumping the table so anyway guys where are we at nine minutes uh, we'll go a few more minutes I don't know what else to talk about uh, there's plenty of projects for me to do uh, I'm waiting till let's see I need to change the oil in my truck that is something I have to do it's way past due so I'm gonna try to get that done tomorrow maybe and then I gotta go to Oklahoma Friday and then Tuesday uh, me and Jeff got eye appointments uh, so we're gonna go to the eye doctor on I think it's Tuesday yeah get some new I'm getting contacts I don't wear glasses the only reason I'm wearing these is because I couldn't afford contacts last year and they gave me these crappy glasses and I told the lady I said if I get anything like this again I ain't coming back I guess they got all new state-of-the-art equipment so we'll see and then we'll get Jeff a pair of glasses and I told him nothing expensive just practical and he, he ain't gonna pick out no but we're probably gonna try to film that some of that and uh, then we have some other news about that uh, I'll talk to Jeff see what well, you're just gonna find out when we make the video what the new news is we'll let you know ahead of time so stay tuned for that it's something that you know we probably should have done a while back but it's easier now that Jeff's here it probably wouldn't have worked before but now that Jeff's here and uh, then also Drew will be involved too when he gets back or if not you know he can film stuff you'll see I'm not I'm giving too much away so anyway y'all have a great day happy trails